Welcome back again to Astro Performing Live. Um, yeah, so today we're doing about Mazda 323 clutch. So I got my clutch. It came quick. It took me a week to get it from the States. So these, this was the old. This is the old clutch that I took out the car. You can see it on the pressure plate. It have skid marks on it. See it? Don't go. Rubbish and yeah, you remember the clutch? Yeah. Oh, I, sh oh, I smashed it. Anyway, new stuff is here. So we want to look at the difference between these two clutches and the two pressure plates. All right, first thing first, the clutch. This is a spring center. Regular OEM clutch rubbish, and um, this is the new F1 Racing Solid Center steel clutch. Yeah, look good to me. <laughs> look strong. The clutch center right here, the the me the frame stick in other tin like some other ones I've seen I've saw um the steel lining see it have decent enough it have decent enough meat on it so in a in a, in a marga. the center is riveted onto the frame is, is the center is riveted onto the, 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 the frame and carry on uh, quite a number of rivets so it look it look like it's strong. But I never tested this type before. I never drive driven on this type before so I don't really sure what to tell it. So but so far it looked like a good clutch due to the cross sectional area and of the amount of metal of the amount of metal used on the frame it looks good. And the rivet heavily riveted. So Probably strong. Pressure plate differences now. Um, this pressure plate. I mean, I know much about the, the names of the parts on the pressure plate. You know, tell you the God am I the truth. But this pressure plate, I carry them button night looking things here. Eh? This one don't carry it. This carry, this carry like a diff. Oh, this carry like a bangle that locks this ring around it. Well, them say it's a stronger pressure plate, so I'm going to find out. When time I put it on the boots, I'm going to put it past. What I But it certainly looks stronger than this. Weight difference. Wow. See it? It's lighter. Racing one lighter. So I have more clamping force. But what was what what is funny about this pressure plate? It says F1 racing, but if you can see good right here, I see seeker right on it. Can you see it? There's a C, there's a writing that says Seeker right here. So maybe what Efron Racing does is just buy the stuff and label them and spray them. Must that? Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's Seeker or if is a brand of Seeker or whatever. I don't know. But this is just the gist that I get out of it. Well, all in all, the clutch looks pretty good, and the pressure plate looks pretty good. So, all I got to do now is just test it and see if it works. Right, just the right here, the ridge is lower than this one. 
Maybe that's what let me use them. Um, increase the cam load, but you have seen it. That's the performance here. And I'm going to install the clutch shortly. But the car won't be finished because the turbocharger is also to be installed. So you'll see you'll be seeing an update on that pretty soon. So you'll get that on the next video. So until we meet again.